appearances. This is a massive match here in Coral Gables this afternoon. Let's play volleyball. Underway, Miami serving first. And an opportunity for an early lead. And will they get it? Yes, I think indeed. it was a touch there. No, no touch. Out of bounds by Carr. Interesting in the first set, trying to attack those middles. Valeria Vasquez Gomez serving for the Pitt Panthers in an early block. They are the best in the conference, one of the best teams in the nation. Miami struggled a little bit in that regard, facing Virginia in the third set and on, on Friday. They do, and also Olivia Babcock gets right there on the right side. I say it's a great block with Grace Lopez. Needs to try to hit cross court and try to create a mismatch there. Babcock 6-5 at a Los Angeles, and that is an ace. Woo, an early 3-0 lead for Pittsburgh. And for everyone, obviously, I don't want to make a dumb comment. For everyone who wants to win a match, serving will be crucial, but for Miami, they need to be in system a lot of times to try to beat that block and run that fast-paced offense. Vasquez Gomez, the serve again, the red shirt senior, six feet one inches tall out of Puerto Rico. Can the Canes get on the board? Can our Grace Lopez help him out in that regard? You can see the physicality of this Pittsburgh team when they hit how high. Look at this. Wow, four nothing. That's way over the block there by Stafford. And this team, it's incredible. We're talking about a team that made it all the way to the final four, in which I actually they they melted down on the fifth set versus Louisville, but they, they had a shot against it. They lost some key players. They lost an outside, they lost a right time. They're still in the mix. Last kill by Tori Stafford, the freshman, uh, sensational freshman out of Torrance, California. She's 6'2, Babcock 6'5, leading the charge for the Pitt Panthers this season. They lead 4 0 early in the first set. And Vasquez Gomez back to serve again. Miami's still looking for their first point. Oh, they're not going to get it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Pitt has come in with some serious force this afternoon. Another block. Flor Maria Heredia there with that block. Like I said, it's a huge block. You just cannot go and challenge it. You need to find your toolbox. What can I do against this one? Off hands, tip of the hand, something needs to happen. 5 0. No. Good block. Blocked by Lopez. So we saw a Puerto Rican 1 2 3 there. Valeria serving. Libero from UM passing, which is Puerto Rican and Grace Lopez. <laughs> Blocked by Carr. Kept alive nicely. Good play by Rosado there. Boy, no contest. That was going to be difficult to dig. That's a that's a great play right there to run. It's a transfer came from Kentucky. So Dan Fisher finding all the right pieces. Also the fact of him being himself a Californian. He has done a really good job of recruiting over there on the West Coast. Quite the kill from Rachel Fairbanks the junior out of California. Nearly the entire roster from out West. Some sensational youth volleyball out there. There's an attacking error by Grace Lopez. It's 7-1 Pittsburgh and early on Miami proving to be no match against Pittsburgh. Well, Pittsburgh means business. You can see the intensity in which they have started and uh, if Miami was waiting for something easy could be a short uh, afternoon. Yeah, oh, that's another ace. ace. A couple of blocks, a couple of aces. A beautiful serve that time. And a timeout by Jose Keno Gondara. Pittsburgh off and run. A little ugly for Miami here in the first set this afternoon. And Pittsburgh looking really, really good. Miami 16 and 7 overall, 9 and 4 in the conference. Pitt 20 and 4, 11 and 2 in ACC play. And coming out of the timeout, another attacking error. Back to back attack errors from Grace Lopez. 9 to 1, the Panthers lead. No touch. Yeah, they have come out really flat for this uh, first set. You don't want to do that against a team that, you know, on the book, it's the sixth team in the nation. There's one point for Miami. 
Miami able to handle the serve and another block. My goodness. And and just to let you know how good of a blocker they are, as you can obviously tell, that's a that's a fast set towards four. It's not easy, but they know that they're running that play a lot. The moment it goes fast also, it doesn't allow Andy to tool a lot around that block. This is reminiscent of what we saw in the third set. <laughs> In the fourth set in particular on Friday when Miami fell behind by 10 points, they were able to overcome that. Another block by Pittsburgh. I mean, Miami's got to get something figured out here because this is uh, this is going to get ugly here this afternoon. Someone needs to get mad and say, I need to side out real quick and take it personal. At the end, it is personal. Miami cannot attack. I mean, they cannot get anything over the net right now. Everything is being blocked. They've also had a difficult time handling serves. That one not handled all that cleanly. Angela Grieve, and that's dug out by Pittsburgh. Another opportunity here. Here's Grace Lopez, and that is blocked, but finally she's able to sneak one through, and Miami's got its second point of the afternoon, and now Milana Moisio will check in to serve. She got a bit lucky there. Stafford wasn't over that play, but she sneaked it in. Boy, Pitt sure is big and tall at the net. They are. It's a very physical team. Pittsburgh in the road traveling white tops, blue bottoms. Miami decked out in black top to bottom this afternoon. Good serve. Not a very good set, but still Pittsburgh comes away with a point. There's no way you can let that ball. That's unacceptable at this level. That's a ball that was touching the ball, so they took a lot of steam out of it. Somebody should have called it. Mm. Can't make yeah. those type of mistakes yeah, if no, uh, you want to play with Pittsburgh. Not against this team. Watch the jumper. Oh boy. Pretty handled by Heredia Cologne. And Angela Green sends one wide, or do we have a touch? Mm, they didn't see one. Well, I think Miami wants to challenge it. Savannah Vock was telling. Coach Keno to challenge it, but he did not get off of his seat. Angela Reeves actually looked at him and went, no, I did. nobody touched it. So. At this point, I will get anything. <laughs> Low toss there on that hit. We're starting to see more now, which I enjoy. I think I told you the last time we're here. More and more, the women's game is looking more like the men's game. So we're watching a lot of jump serves like you just watched. So usually it was, was a game of floats and uh, standing floats and even jump floats but now you as you can see look two players in a row with, with jump serves what a block what a block by Rachel Fairbanks at the net it was a golden opportunity for Miami let me ask you this Alan you've been around the game a long time it's 14 to 3 they're not going to win the first set it take a miracle but what can you do right now to put yourself in a position to be more competitive in the sets to follow well at the end you need to do what you need to do so at the end he, the score cannot determine, even though it's super tough, what what the outcome is going to be. What you want to do in these kinds of set is try to find some rhythm. Hey, what is it that we do well and start doing it? Forget about this one and take on the other one. A miracle could happen, like it happened the other day. But I think Virginia was as good as a team as Pittsburgh is. But this is a huge lead, so just start to get your rhythm back. Service error, 15 to four, Pittsburgh. By the way, even though this is a Number six team in the nation. I also need to be honest. Nobody in the ACC. It's 11 points better than anyone. So you're watching a horrible set, which we have seen on on plenty of sides whenever they're here. So Maka Wokolo serving for Pittsburgh. They've got themselves another point. Yeah, and it's lay out there. I think that ball could have been maybe a little bit low, but still, she's also coming off injury, so. I think I told you the last time she looks a little bit rusty. I think she might be 60 or 70 percent of, of what she can do. Look at that. Nine attacking errors by Miami, just one by Pittsburgh. Whoa. And that's oh, out. Really? Well, that, that, that one, was close. That one was really close, though. Might want to take a look at uh, a variety of things here. And I guess no challenge. I thought that was much closer. Nerves, the mental game comes in it. Well, that's something to mix it up. It depends on the level that you're playing, but for international matches, like pretty much, if you do more than seven mistakes, seven more than seven errors, you're done. unless the other team it's obviously worse, 
you don't have a shot. So, I mean, just, just with the hitting uh, errors right here, it's it's crazy. Now, Yalis Rosado serving for the Canes, trailing 17 to five in the first set. Dug nicely. Nice hit by Andrew Greaves. So again, strategically at this point, you're looking down the road here towards additional sets, but trying to find where Pittsburgh might crack a, just a touch that'll give you an advantage moving forward. I think I told you, same as any other game, you're going to see uh, these, these, they all know what they do. I mean, they know each other. They go through hours of video. So this is a matter of actually just coming and doing what you're supposed to do. I mean, they all know what they're they're good at and what they're bad at. This Pittsburgh team early on at least our first look at them this season in person certainly looks like a club that might be poised to get themselves back to another final four. That's a great play there running Grace out of position one. Sad that they started this way the court is packed and there's a, some great energy here today. That's a play you might want to run a lot from the back row see if you can get away from that block. Mm. Been setting the middle whenever they can. I think against Carr, that might be a good matchup for them. There we see the pass, they're in system. Why not running that? It's probably a 32 there. Good pass by Floor. They got to see a little bit more of that right there. And you I, gotta I beat them to the you. punch. You gotta beat them to the top of the net. I don't think numbers can lie. Carr, when it comes to hitting, she has to be the most offensive uh, middle that they have. She pounds that ball and she's doing a good job. I would not be surprised if we see a lot more of that because when Miami's not beating Pittsburgh to the top of the net, everything, and I mean everything, is getting blocked. But the only bad thing is that you need to be a good passing team so you can use the middle. So there we go back again to passing. Good tipping now. Getting some rhythm now, you know, playing at the same level, even though obviously they're a little bit too late for this set, but should be good good news for Coach Cano that at least, you know, they're, they're starting to get in rhythm. It's a great block there. And the short serve by Flor Maria Heredia, which was a very, very easy ball. Stafford couldn't actually hold it. Sometimes um, passers relax on those easy serves, yeah. and all of a sudden it becomes a nightmare. So let's see if she goes back to her. No. Yeah, she did. And now she went back to what it. we yes. saw, but not yeah, that jump was, serve. Yeah. Interesting. But she was looking for that short serve. It, it wasn't that short, so she still got the hit. Both teams with the same strategy, by the way. They're going to try to serve uh, Flor Maria Heredia for the Canes, and they're trying to serve staff for both outsides. She's handled it pretty well today. Well, that was kept alive. That was a huge carry. I don't know what happened there. Somebody missed the call. Cano's not happy at all. It's out of bounds. by Grace Lopez. And I love these refs, you know, that I treat them fairly, but Keno is not really happy about the call. I just, like I said, they're humans. You're allowed to miss the call. One thing I hate about refs is when you're starting to get in, they tell you no. That gets you going. Gets like, you going do not more. make any gestures. Coach Keno keeps going back for more. He can't help it. He's there in the R2, you saw it too, and the R2 can actually, he cannot, protocol says he cannot call it, but he can he can mark, you know, like, this right. is what happened. Right. But it's still, it's the R1's job, to be honest. Angie hitting it hard there. Angela Grieve just got three cracks at it. She finally got the third one to go. I like to see her swinging hard. That's that's what she needs to be. Been feeling her a little bit tentative. I don't know what the yellow card is all about for Coach Keno. Coach Keno's telling the uh, referee to wake up. Might have slept. Uh, maybe he didn't get enough sleep. I don't know. 
Well, it's uh, it's that relationship that I've been telling you. I mean, it's the normal relationship between coaches and refs. The moment you don't get a call, you want it. And uh, that's that. He's giving it to him. Still giving it to him. They're humans, but they missed that one badly. That was a huge, that was a huge carry there, and they missed it. Yeah, Miami might be able to keep this thing in play. And they did. Although now they're out of position, and that was a disaster waiting to happen. The moment you get a free ball, you understand that you have three hitters that will be attacking you, and they thought that this was the best way to smack the ball in the middle. That's deep. A little bit too high, but it's very interesting to see. I think that at some moment, you might you might see her on the on the national team of program. Yeah. She has what it takes. She has the height and physicality and the athleticism. Grace. Way too many a, errors yeah. by Miami in the first set. And Grace has been, I think, the most consistent player for Miami, not having a great first set. She's human, she's allowed to, but that's what's happening. Eleven attacking errors by Miami. That's, that's incredible. They're hitting a negative percentage. Mm -hmm. And Pittsburgh. Uh, could have been a touch there. Yes, yeah. it was. Pittsburgh has found a way to block a bunch of Miami's attacking efforts. I think the head coach Dan Fisher He's saying that that it hey, wasn't look, a touch. Yeah, and I think he was telling for Laria Vasquez Gomez, hey, it's 23-13. Let's not break up the momentum very, here now. Very smart play. You don't want to do anything with that score. You just want right. to get it over with. If we can't hold on to a 10-point lead, you know, we got bigger issues. And I think there was a touch there, too. No touch or net. No touch. Sneaked in. Pretty much a nightmare uh, set for Miami. Obviously, they started like really, really slow on this one. There's all of these unforced errors. They need to actually bounce back for the second one. Set point here for Pittsburgh. Great pass by Angie. Ooh, Janice Leia. Probably want to see a little bit more of that. You need some passing for that. If you do, I think she's a great choice. Even at 60 something percent, she's that good. When she's 100%, she's as dominant as anyone I've seen. Wow. So that number Great, one yes. goes to Pittsburgh. They dispose of Miami 25 to 15. We'll take a break. We'll switch sides. We'll see what type of effort Miami. Be overthinking. That's why we saw so many mistakes. But we saw even balls getting into the middle of the net and a lot of balls out of bounds. You don't want to make it that easy. Okay, so set for set number two. Rachel Fairbanks serving. Great hit. It's the Kings who struck this. Miami needs Angela Reeves. I mean. To me, she's along with the setter. They're, they're the heart and soul of this team. Doesn't matter what stats say, she leads them. I like to see her swinging freely like she just did there. That's a great set. Wow. Terrific block. Blocking now, yes. And Pittsburgh cannot keep it alive. It's 2 nothing. Still a great hustle. Good start for the Canes. Like I said, I don't think we we're going to see another blowout. They have teams, I mean, particular that they have done pretty much the same. I mean. The jump serve, another good one. Set perfectly. And a kill. And That's a Monks out of Louisville. I was about to say that a Monk just been getting off. Whenever she gets that, even though that's almost a miss hit, I don't think they're expecting her or something, but she's been good enough to put it down. I think she has scored at least one point every time she's been in the, in, in the front row, which is good numbers for a minute. 
Janice layout taps it over. Pittsburgh keeps it alive. This will be another opportunity right here for the Kings. Grieve gets blocked. Vato is going to yeah. set up Lopez, and she puts it home. The best choice is now, offensive-wise, for the Canes will be trying not to set where backup is actually blocking, which as you can see, she's blocking the outside from the other team. She's so huge, and she penetrates those hands that I, will, I think Miami needs to go middle or right side there. Way better options. Well, very impressive how quickly Pittsburgh, with their size, gets to the top of the net. It's a lot of work by Coach Fisher. An ace. Welcome to women's volleyball. You lose a set big time, and all of a sudden, then now you're the one that's down. Grieve to serve. Yep. Net violation by Fort Maria Heredia. I have coached both men's and women's, and obviously, all, all I have to say, first of all, believe it or not, after a lot of years, I enjoy more the women's game. I think you see longer rallies and techniques and all of that stuff. But emotionally, they are different. And uh, and it's a roller coaster sometimes emotionally to coach them. Chiamaka Wokolo subs back in for Pittsburgh. Front line, front of the net. Boy, she gets her hands on it. Great Ooh. block. That was impressive. And right now, I mean, it's a 5-1, which means that Savannah has uh, Two hitters, so they're ganging up. They're helping out there, as you can see. Their outside is helping out on Janice. <laughs> Passing the ball there, it's pretty much impossible today. <laughs> Hit it out, uh, into the net. That's an attacking error. Three consecutive points ripped off by Pittsburgh for level at four. Again, when Miami has given Pittsburgh an opportunity to get themselves situated defensively to get to the net, they're blocking everything. When Miami was setting that ball quick and not giving them an opportunity to get to a spot, they were much better. Babcock is such a great um, blocker. She blocked her twice, so she made her do that mistake. So I'll give that point actually to the block. Another block. Mercy. That's, that's how you get back in the match real quick. Four consecutive points, I'd say so. Great blocking team, ball setter, ball hitter. That's the progression. They're awesome with that. That's a little bit better right there. Yes, it is. They're both great blockers, but if I need to choose to hit where Babcock is, I'd rather go cross court and, uh, and take my chances with the middle. Which, by the way, she's ridiculously good, too. Wokolo. Yo, oh, yeah. Janice Layout takes the seat for Miami. Terrific serve. Oh, that's perfect. That's a great beautiful, pancake. beautiful job by Angela Grieve to give Miami the lead again, 6-5. to five. So a couple of lead changes here already. Early second set. Great things to do. This happens a lot in clubs. Sometimes you face these teams that are huge. Well, you cannot challenge the block. You might as well tip and make them go to the ground. Play small ball. Like, just like in baseball, That's that's this is version of volleyball. Yeah, Elise Rosado serving again. Yeah, I got to tell you, that was extremely impressive. The finishing touches there by Babcock. That looked like a play dead in the water. It might be a free ball for Miami, and Pittsburgh collects a point. How'd they do this? I mean, this was really impressive right here. Well, that happens, you know, I'm this good. I'm very physical. I'm a freshman. I'm a I'm very scary player. She's so good. A jump serve for Olivia Babcock. She gets a free ball back to their team. And a kill. Running that slide. Great slide there. We always talk about the hitters. We always talk about anyone, and we seldomly talk about Rachel Fairbanks. Their setter is just amazing. She ain't flashy, but she doesn't make mistakes. I love her. Coming off a 33 assist and 11 big night. Junior out of California. There's a service error by Babcock, 7-7. Miami hanging in there. Like I said, this is what everybody was expecting, a good match.
She hits from everywhere. Mm. Great things, Adam. I, I enjoy Coach Dan a lot. I mean, even though she plays right side, he moves her and he makes her hit from six, from position six, from pipe. Like, he moves her. Like, I have this talent. I'm going to use it as much as I can. He's very crafty at that. Babcock, another kill. She's got five. 8-7 Pittsburgh. Oh, my Lord. AJ. Great Great open. Hit. Welcome Great hit. to the party. It's probably a great rotation for them to pair up Grace there against the setter, which is still a very good blocker, but not as good as the other one. So, yeah, go down the line. Ooh. Oh, beautiful play. Thrown over by Fairbanks. Blockers were not aware. She's in front row. You can see number 10 there. Watch her. Somebody should have been there with her. Great job, Rachel Fairbanks. This set much more tightly contested. Nobody is broken. Oh. It's a great swing by Valeria. I don't think anybody was expecting for her to hit it. She went, might as well just hit a down ball and see what happens while well, the block was there and she was able to get away with it. Valeria Vasquez Gomez, Richard senior out of Puerto Rico. Second team All-American last year. Good job there at the net. Win or lose, whatever happens, just want to see your team competing. Miami is competing on this first set. Pittsburgh took care of that on the first one. They actually didn't allow them to compete on the Not first though. set. Miami did after it got out to a, what, 10 1, 11 1 when it really got ugly. Yep. Oh, my. It's a great hit by Valeria there. Has had some experience with the Puerto Rican national team. She hasn't been able to play some more. Obviously, she has things to do here at Pittsburgh, but Puerto Rico has a great future, and you're watching both here that uh, should be the outsides and the right sides for that team, and Grace Lopez and Valeria. Fairbanks this serve. Vox for Lopez. Okay. Oh my God, what an arm. You can see that she was, she's warmed up all right. What an arm, she's so smooth without arms. It's gonna be one of the fastest swings in the ACC right now. And that time Pittsburgh a little late to the block party. Good serve. Far side, set her up, block for the point. That's Babcock. Boy, she can elevate. Like I say, I mean, she's playing as a right side, but they use her anywhere. Like, yeah, you're in four. Obviously, you get that. You get one rotation to hit out of there. He gives it to her. Great passing by uh, Valeria. If anybody has wondered why she has been so good, she's great at passing, defending, and serving. So impressive. Six foot five freshman out of Los Angeles. Who's Vak going to set up this time? Right in the middle of the net, it's Flor Marie already a Cologne and a block by the Pitt Panthers. They lead 13 to 10. Going back to past conversations, when you play against a team that has the best block in the ACC, this is not the team that you're going to be breaking that block with your power. This is a team that you want to hit high and actually try not to get into that block. Blocked again. Plenty of blocking from Pittsburgh, yeah. Might be a choice for the Kings. I mean, I'm pretty sure we have been watching. I don't have the stats, but I don't think I need to. Every time they've been hitting from the back row, six and one, they have been able, you know, it's tougher for the block, too, to get used to back, to back row hitting. Might be something that they might want to do because from the front row, they've been stuffed all the time. Good block. Miami doing some great things in there. The moment that they're not passing ball and they're out of system, you need to do your stuff, which is right there. You set up your block and you should be able to get a good percentage Janice of Leal points. that time. 13-12. Another block for the Kings and we're level at 13. 
Janice Leal lifting that percentage. Maybe she's 70 percent. Dan Fisher with a couple of words for his ladies. Ooh, indecisive. Another block. The ball didn't go through. Still. Miami up one. They have four consecutive points. Pittsburgh is an awesome team. I enjoy watching them play. I think they've been doing phenomenal having two freshmen in there, but with freshmen also you get inconsistencies. Great over the block there, tooling. Stafford that time to level things at 14 aside. Kath Flood checking it now. The senior will serve out of Illinois. Two stud freshmen stacked on the net right now. See Stafford. And you see Babcock right there. Wow. Beautiful by Savannah Bach. Nobody was expecting that one. Whenever the setter is in the front row, as a, as a blocker, you need to be checking what's going on. There's a, there's a timeout on the floor. After dude, you feel like they've got to take the second set. Well, this match would pretty much, if they do what they're supposed to do after, will get them into the tournament. So. Great play down the middle. That's a little bit of a mismatch there. I think Cars, like I said, she's awesome offensively. Blocking, probably not their best blocker. So the moment they get a good pass, they're going to try to run the play. That was Chiamaka Wokolo with the kill. She's got three. Lopez with seven for Miami. There is Lopez. Touch. And a touch, no touch. Oh, I saw that ball go up. And attacking error. Another one for Lopez, who has struggled in that department this afternoon. And now it's 16 to 15. I don't know, it looked flat from there, but from us it looks like it went up a bit, but. They say no touch. Here's a free ball. They read that pretty, pretty easy. A block at the net. And Eddie probably touched it, but it looked like nobody touched that ball. Oh, terrific dig. Over the block. Danger time right here for Miami. Pittsburgh leading 17-15. And Eddie needs to just, both outsides to me, they need to play more freely and try to actually score and move the ball around just hitting into the spots whatever there's nobody blocking you will have people playing defense you know on the ground and it it's been some very easy reads for for pittsburgh so far a lot of the fans here in attendance wanted four touches on that last point felt like miami deserved a point they're trailing 17 15. what a great serve by babcock that's a, that's carry. a carry yes Borderline one, but yes, maybe we see on slow-mo. See where her hand is. Uh, Close. Not that decisive, but. Sometimes what they use is if your elbow is extended and you don't move it all over the place, it's good, but it's borderline. I mean, refs know better, they're there. It's not one of those plays that you can say, whoa, they, it, was, it was a robbery or anything. No, it's just borderline, which happens. Good job. Miami needs to pick it up right now if, if they don't get into this match. <laughs> they can't afford any errors, and they've got to capitalize on a couple. That's a nice yeah. start with Grace Lopez. She's got her team leading eighth kill in the match. Very sharp angle there from the lefty. Hitting that corner in between five and four there. So 18-17. Laura Marie Heredia Cologne serving. She's not going with that jump serve yeah. that we've become accustomed to seeing. Far side to kill. Yikes. Look out. That was Valeria Vasquez Gomez. She's been having a great match. She's now their number one go-to girl in the but she's scoring at will.
Miami needs a good pass so they can run that fast pace offense. Otherwise, that block is going to take a toll. She's so hard to block, as you can see there. Took the inside hand of the middle blocker, hit it really hard. You see the physicality of Babka, but you can understand all of her prices. And like I said, she's, she's a different kind of player. But little by little, Grace Lopez also gets to score. Might not be as flashy, but it's it's as you know as good. Ooh, she missed hit that one. Let me see if she's getting a touch. Miami is saying a touch. Yeah. And Coach Keno is going to challenge it. It's going to challenge for a touch, so the ref should point and says number one. Ball. Yeah. Calls a touch. Valeria, I can see the face from Valeria, and I know. She knew it. Yep. I guess I touched it. Coach not upset, obviously. There's, no. there's, that's a good thing about the challenge. I'm pretty much he asked her, did you touch her? And she probably I thought went, it was yes, pretty I clear, too. I thought the rotation of that ball quickly increased after you felt like you saw the touch. But Dan pretty much talked to her and went, did you touch her? And she went, yeah, I did. <laughs> Oof. Tough, tough one there. That's a tough one after you get a break. Moiseo, who's usually a good uh, server. Sometimes the mindfulness when you're in the bench coming, you need to be even more prepared than uh, than the starters. The starters are in rhythm. Rachel Fairbanks serving for Pittsburgh. It is 20 to 19. Pitt. Grace Lopez with a kill. Oh, square at 20. I like I like this rotation for her. I'm like, I mean, there were some adjustments made, and now she's having her way with uh, Valeria and uh, the other middle number nine. Emma Monks. 20 all, a jump serve from Lopez. And oh, a kill beautiful set for by Pitt Fairbanks. Emma Monks. Easy. Fairbanks with those hands really high there. And you can see how the middle also saw where her hands. Beautiful set. Beautiful serve. Yes, it was. Enough to get a free ball. Yeah. <laughs> Almost a free ball. Ball Boy. touched the four. Keno thought it didn't. See what Angie thinks. That is an error by Miami, and it's a two-point Pittsburgh lead. I think it did touch the four. I think otherwise, and knowing Angie, she would have said it. Yeah, it did touch the floor clearly. Nice pancake. She went for it. Kind of hurt her shoulder a little bit, too. Yeah, and you see some cupping there, so probably having a little bit of some issues. Plenty of swings with those arms. People don't realize. 22 to 20 now after the Miami attacking error. Vox. Now for Florida, ready at Cologne. I think there was a net there. Yep. They missed it. And a touch. Okay, now, so now Angela Grieve will serve. Miami in need of capitalizing on a Pittsburgh mistake or a big block at the net. It's a very emotional set. Like I said, you don't want to be 0-2 knowing that you played your better volleyball in the second set and you're still lost. Sheng pass. It's a great set, though. And there's the block that they needed. They needed a Janice layout there. That's one of those balls there. I mean, I, I like the way he talks to the girls. He's emotional when he has to. But he will demand. Like I said, if, imagine that he lost two starters that were awesome players, and he's still number six in the nation. Obviously, he's coming from a loss in Florida State. He ain't too happy. Right. He starts to see things that he has seen before. So, yeah, it's like. Wake up, girls. Nobody's going to give us anything because, because we're pit, you know? I think he might have an idea what he's doing after 11 years. Huh? Well, in the back, last, back in the last five years, in the last five years, he has been the best coach in the nation when it comes to wins. That says a lot. I mean, yeah. The nation is packed with awesome teams and awesome coaches. 
Okay, so Angela Grieve will serve coming out of the timeout by Pittsburgh, who leads this thing one set to nothing. Miami is praying they can find a way to win this second set. Good serve, good set, and no kill. There, yes, indeed, 23-22 Pittsburgh. They got lucky there. Babco actually pretty much hit into the block. Layout's hands were not ready. What an important serve and an important point this would be for Miami. Their backs are against the wall if they don't collect a point coming out of this serve. That flood with the serve has been really good for this team throughout the years. Lays into it, gets it over, Grieve dives. Here is Juan Marie Heredia Colon and we're square at 23. A massive point for Miami. You go down 24-22, you are totally against it. But you saw something very smart. Look how high she hits that ball. You cannot challenge that block. If you hit into that block, you're done. You need to try to go get something in there, and if she does that, she will be successful. Those hands oftentimes not nearly as sturdy as the wrists and those forearms. Outside hand being the easiest one to get rid of the ball, then tip of the hands or tip. Those are the three major toolbox things that you can use. And now you got Elise Rosado serving. She gets it over. Blocked, kept alive. Oh, Flor Marie Heredia Cologne with an attacking error there. It was an opportunity for Miami to potentially collect a point. And now set point kept it up for Pittsburgh. You like the idea? I did. I'm pretty sure starting with her, she would have loved to handle it with both hands, but she could have. So now back to serve Olivia Babcock. A massive serve in this match, and she'll toss it up. She'll get into it. Kept alive. Vach. And now Miami's given Pittsburgh a free ball. Rosado Could prove to be there, disastrous. Yeah. Grieve at the net, a battle. It's 2 nothing Pittsburgh. But Boys. we have a game now. A disaster of a second set for Miami. They played just about as good as they could. A couple of errors down the stretch proves to be costly. 2 nothing Pittsburgh leads. Obviously, being one of the marquee uh, colleges, the history of, of volleyball. Even when they don't have a great year, somehow they end up sending two to three players to the national team. It's Man. that kind of program. I mean, it's perennially, perennially though, one of the best programs over it is. a stretch of time 10, 20 years. All right, so set for the third set here in Miami. Pittsburgh leading two sets to nothing. Best of five, of course. And Miami will serve. And it'll be Milana Moisio to serve for the Miami Hurricane. She spins it. She serves it. Flips the net. And Pittsburgh. No touch. No touch. Ooh, I thought there was a touch. I thought for sure there was a touch. It's one nothing Miami. Monks think that there was a net there. I didn't see it. Thought we had a touch. I guess not. Great pass. What a block by the Canes. Janice Leia and Grace Lopez teaming up. You can still see, even though, like I said, Babcock is something to really enjoy, but sometimes you're seeing freshman stuff, which is hitting down. It's pretty scary when she learns how to hit deeper and she gets more tools. Unstoppable? Pretty much. If she hits deep, I don't think there's nobody can touch her block, but if you hit down, even a midget like Coach Allen can block you and keep on telling people, if you hit down, I'll be there. <laughs> Her superpower is obviously she jumps really high. You want to use that reach and just hit deep with range. Oh, great set, one-handed there by Savannah back. Ooh. Yeah, it did land, she was close though. Take a look. Nice tip. Rosado was a little bit behind there. Five service errors by Miami this afternoon has not helped their cause either. That is the fourth for Pittsburgh, and Miami leads three to two. Valeria well, missing on the service line, which is one of her superpowers. She's a really good server. Coach Fisher probably not happy about that. I mean, that's part of her job. Offense has been carried by other players. You just want her to pass and do what she does best. Was just that.
And yeah, she couldn't handle it there. A nice hit down the line. She's such a great hitter. Doesn't matter where she hits. She right. can hit from the left side. If you let her, she'd probably smack the ball in the middle. Yep. She's so athletic. And she hides it so well. I mean, she goes up, as you can see, watch her. She goes up with two hands, so you think she's going to set, and then she dumps. Savannah back, very athletic. Also, she was a great offensive player. People don't realize she used to hit the ball. So she has that offensive mindset. Good pass by Valeria. And a good block there by Janice Leal. She's nice working her read. way back into volleyball shape. Uh, she's dangerous when she's at full health. She is dangerous. It's a great serve. It's a double. Miami getting a little break here. Good effort though by Fairbanks. Takes a special player to try to set that one almost from the floor and she did that. Ooh, she got away with that Pittsburgh one. Pittsburgh just got away with it. Stafford got away with a miss hit. The superpower of Valeria Vasquez Gomez is that she's a great passer and also good at defense, good at serving, very decent blocker. She might not be the biggest arm on the team, but she does so many things. She's so valuable to Pittsburgh. Great serve. Block. At least trying to tool. Let's see if she can do it again. Tips. Out of bounds, yes. And went outside the antenna. These are the things that you want to protect. You had a 6-3 uh, right. lead. Right. You don't want to get them back because it takes a toll on you. Like, yeah, we were three points ahead. All of a sudden, we're tied again. Here we go. Right. Here we go. So we never get a break. And that starts to make a little hole in your head. And that is what transpired there in the second set. Frustration kicks in. Huh? That is deep. Love her swing. Plenty of stuff to work around with her. She's only in her first year. I'm pretty sure Coach Dan will do a great job. Yeah. We'll probably revisit this transmission at some moment when she becomes a freak that I think she will become at any moment. Great pass by Valeria, as you can see. That's why it's money. There's a free ball for Miami. Can they get two points right back? Grace Lopez says, yep. Yep. With Fisher not too happy. That was a great play, and there was a miscommunication there between the middles that on an on-system ball that should have been a great hit and they ended up giving out a free ball. Mm, my goodness, Miami cannot continue to afford to make these errors. They've got to make Pittsburgh play volleyball. Usually, like I said, there's a lot of depth in that libero DS position. And today it's been a rough one for her and for Moisio when it comes to serving in key situations. Bomb. Can't hit down against this team. They're going to touch everything. Nice tip there. They're calling for a double. And, and I, I want to say something about the doubles. We'll this end up talking about the double touch. Maybe it could have been a double, but just because the ball turns or rotates doesn't mean it's a double. Mm. Every time Miami gets a couple of points back, they give him right back, and now we're tied at eight. But you can see also, for Maria, she has, she's, she's an awesome player, but she's hitting down, and she's been cut. When they don't block her, they're touching the ball, they're playing it out. She needs to start hitting deeper. She needs to tutor, do some other stuff. You cannot challenge this block. You're going to have a tough time. Out of system again on that shank pass. Wow. Great swing by Grace. 
Bobby Cassiano. Yes. First time we've called her name this afternoon. She gets ferocious when she kills it, and then about five seconds afterwards, she kind of snaps out of the, the emotion, then she all smiles. <laughs> Abby should be the obvious um, middle along with Janice Leo, but yeah, she struggles at moments. She nice gets block. to be more consistent. Oh my goodness, Pittsburgh ends up with that point. Wow, a battle at the net. Looked like Miami could have had a point the entire way. Yes, it did. Those balls, you need to be smart. Whoever touches it last, as you can see there. Now, is that not one right there that Heredia Cologne could just really put some umph into and put away? You could, but believe it or not, it's it's more of of, of having the malice of touching it first. You touch the moment, touching it second. I mean, last. She touches it first. Whoever touches it last wins the match. So she allowed her to touch it, and then she threw it down. More experience on the Pittsburgh side. Ball was in just by a bit there. For Marie uh, Heredia, I need to say something about her too. I think she's been having a really good um, passing mass on, on match on this one. Grace thought it was going to go yeah. out. She's been passing well today. She struggled on Friday, much better today. It's a really pretty serve. Great stats there by. Ooh. Here's a free ball for Pittsburgh. They have a one point lead. Cassiano, they're all good. That's a good idea. But you can see Cassiano. Look at her size. Cassiano needs to be in there. And she needs to do her job. I think she's a better blocker than she is a hitter. And there is no explanation for that. She has everything to be also a really good hitter. Nice pass by Valeria again. Great block. She hits it really hard. So that she doesn't hit it that deep. She has a very fast and heavy arm, but as you can see, not too much height. So actually, the clue is not the, the cue is not to go really high on her because otherwise she will tool in there. Cassiano, in her final year as Miami Hurricane, started her collegiate career at Syracuse. This has got to be an opportunity for Miami. Unfortunately, they've just got to send it right back over to Pittsburgh. A scramble for the ball. That is off the ceiling. Kept alive by Grace Lopez. Who's going to come up with a point? It is going to be Miami, or is it Pittsburgh? Miami uh, touched the ball, yes, so it's did. Pittsburgh ball. Babco, Jesus. <laughs> if she has pressure in that head, nobody knows. Oh, yeah, yeah, you see Angie there touching it. Playing like a, she was a senior. 11-11. Zero stress, actually talking on the net there, laughing, talking to Valeria. She's a special player. Yeah. That's a nice tool by Angie. A little bit of a scream there that I love. The redshirt senior at Jupiter, presence of mind. So you you saw that, right? It's a it's okay. a ball that's out of system. They know where they're going. She knows that the block is there. I'm tooling. I'm not hitting there. That is the one thing that for Maria Heredia, with within a certain time, she will start to learn to do more. Grieve just felt an easy point. Ooh. Could have been a double too. Emma Monks went up and uh, just missed time the jump or pass. Just the set was just not good. 13 to 11 Miami again they're back out to another two point advantage they did this in the second set but when they get these two three point advantages they let them slip away that's us Moisio doing what she's supposed to do Oh, he's saying I, I want this one James. well he's been a little ticked off he was after he just had to take a timeout Miami leading 14 11 coming out of the break Ball is dug by the cane. It's over for Green. Sends it right back over to Pittsburgh. Is that out or is it in? That is it out. It was out. It was out. And by a lot. Not too happy there. She did the right thing. I would have taken a swing on that. You see Coach oh, Fisher really like that, close. but you see coaches relax. We're never relaxed, but actually we were dying in, inside, but we need to fake it. The ball was going out. Yes, Valeria picked it up. 
Now I can't stop watching. The only crazy set was the first one in which Miami was blown out of the court. But you don't expect that at D1. Moisio serving a good one at the net. Here comes Pittsburgh. And Chris Lopez sent it backwards after a reactionary blow to the ball. It's 16 to 12, a point for Pittsburgh to stop the bleeding momentarily. A nice swing from Valeria on a play that the set wasn't awesome, but she did enough. Valeria Vasquez Gomez, incredible and impressive to look at up close, those big, broad shoulders. She fits that volleyball mold to a T. Very intense on defense. I like her. As you can see right there, she's oh, all over the place. Job. That ball didn't pass. Four touches. R2 Marrero making sure. Coach Fisher is going to challenge. Probably Marrero telling him, listen, I'm 100% sure. I don't know if you want to blow it, but Dan also would like to get a timeout. I mean, kind of like a free one. Can't tell. And I've been around for a long time. A touch. Whoa, 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 whoa. What they're going to play, are you going to do over? Yeah. Well, it worked for Coach Fisher. I didn't see a touch at all. I, I couldn't tell. Camera was wiggling and got too fuzzy for me. But I saw that ball hit the tape. Like, I don't, I don't have a clue of what Marther. So it's 16 it 12. We will redo it. Here is Vasquez Gomez to serve again. Ready a Cologne to Va to Grieve. It's 17 to 12, Miami. Good hit down the line for Angie. That's really good because she, she needs to let them know, yeah, I can hit line too. You know, you need to worry about me. They're going cross on her, so yeah, she found the line. Nice serve. Yes, it was. Dug out nicely, and that turns into a Pittsburgh point. That was beautiful. The ultimate equalizer, having somebody that can side out as good as Babcock does. Watch her. I'm there. That's their insurance. I'm in trouble. Give it to her. Is that what you mean when you refer to hitting it high as well? Yeah. Tough to handle. Can't control. And, and she's really out there. Sometimes when you're there and you come from club, which she's coming from club, I mean, she's playing as a freshman, you're used to hitting down on smaller players, but you're in the NCAA now. You need to fix that a bit, which she's working on that. Off the hands. 18-13 Miami. Obviously, they've got to win this third set to stay alive. But you feel okay about things up five late in the third set to force a fourth set to try to keep this whole operation alive. You feel good also about some of the things that I just saw. Angie being really smart. Obviously, she's a seasoned player. She's a senior. She knows what to do. She's been tooling now. I don't have to challenge this block. It's a great hit over the block. That's what I call hitting deep. Stafford being smart enough. If my superpower is that I can hit over your block, what sense does it make to hit down so I can equalize you when I'm, when I'm up there? Good rotation on the volleyball. It's a bazooka there. Gets it to die quick, too. You want to hit deep with range. It's a great serve. A a great range there. serve. Do that a couple more times. Gonna try to flip that script, and uh, they'd have to win, obviously, three and four to get to number five, but continue to put some pressure on these Panthers. If you don't work hard for Coach Fisher, you'll be back at home. Yeah. Wow. And it didn't work. She actually came up with a great ace there. Straight down to the libero. Babcock with two consecutive aces. That was a bomb. Yeah, oh, nasty. And uh, you better figure out a way to handle this puppy, or else it's about the 18-18. It's incredible. She's a freshman. Where we coach her club. Ooh. She tried a tool there, though. Watch I gotta give her credit. Now. Watch yeah. this now. Here comes Pittsburgh. Three consecutive points. Stafford with that superpower. Not only I can jump high, but I'm really smart, and I hit with range, and I'm gonna hit deep over that block, and she did. I mean, Miami's got to find a way to get a point just to get Olivia Babcock off of that baseline from serving. She is such a threat to just collect an ace. 
Miami with another issue now with the ball comes to Pittsburgh also Savannah back That's it. Oh, that was really close. I was gonna challenge that one. I thought that was it. It's I double think check. it's 18 18 it's double check I thought They're checking to see whether it's in and out. That's why you ace. see him signaling the two to me. That's an ace That is an yeah, ace. It, Taking the time but Ball was in I guess it obviously protocol is that you need to talk to everyone the score and everything else We are tied at 18 four consecutive points for Pittsburgh It was a pretty obvious one. I mean coach Fisher jumped on that challenge quickly. Yep, and sternly said Go it, get it right. It happens like I said a very fast ball there on Karen Harper I mean, And don't forget Olivia Babcock still serving here. Yep. What a rally. That's at the net. And digging, ball is out of bounds. Nice break there for Miami. The thing is mentally, you were up by four to five points, and all of a sudden you're playing at the end of the match, and it's only a one-point lead for you. Takes a toll on your confidence levels. Ooh. Smart move. It's on this side. Savannah. Savannah's off. Remembering her hitting days. Yeah. yeah Turning I was back a hitter. Clocks, huh? I was a hitter. I've done this before. Turning back the clocks. And not only she's uh, she <laughs> hit the ball, she's a very decent hitter. So after four consecutive points for Pittsburgh, Miami rattles off two in a row. Rosado serving. She struggled all day long. Boy, Miami has not done a good job serving today at all. I just think they're being really unlucky when it counts, which is right now at the end. Yeah, you need to reset, like I said, deal with failure, and that's that. Good pass from Angie. Uh, not a very good set. Free ball for Pittsburgh. And. Up near the lights. You need to hit that ball Kings. against Pittsburgh. You're going to have a shot otherwise. Angie getting fancy there, trying to look for a nice shot, that, but she missed it. Pittsburgh has won six of the last eight points. Body language and momentum just shifted to Pittsburgh. Serve easy to handle for Grief. Far side. Heredia Cologne gets blocked. Ball was out of bounds. Good job by Grace Lopez there. Best tipper that the Canes have, it's on the bench, which is payment or gym cheek. The other ones, they need to work a little bit of tipping. Every time they have been tipping, it's too deep, and it's very easy on the defense of Pittsburgh. Dug out by Savannah Vock. Over for Grace Lopez, who hammers at home. 22 20 Canes lead. Puerto Rican connection there. Grace Lopez tooling against her fellow countryman, Valeria Vasquez there. Good choice. The gauge gap between the two. They probably don't know each other all that well. It's a small country. <laughs> Lopez again. <laughs> Off the ceiling. Playable. What a nice swing. Great a dig. Dive by in a dig. And Ten. touch. Yes, yeah. she did. Absolutely. That's what you see out of her. She's. She's a, she's a senior. She knows what she's doing. She used those hands. She's very crafty. I'd like to see her play a lot. Well, she's just so big, too. She's such a force and a presence. Her town is not too far from Grace's and Lopez Grace's all the way on the West Coast. Manatee, which is right in between trying to come um, on the northern side towards where they live. So you might be surprised they might even do know each other. Miami only needs three points, but Pittsburgh needs four. <laughs> Good pass. Vock over. Lopez gets blocked, and we're tied at 22. Time wow. to side out. I mean, she tried there. Pittsburgh read it, though. They read it quick. Obviously, 
Yeah, I'm doing Monday morning quarterback here, but the block was going all the way there. For some reason, they abandoned for Maria Heredia on two. There's a serve from Pittsburgh. Vak over. Flor Marie Heredia Cologne taps it over. Man violation by number two. The Larry Vasquez Gomez with the violation. Kane's leading by one. And now Flor Marie Heredia Cologne will serve. And uh, we have not seen that jump serve today from Flor Marie. She's got it if she wants it. And she won't use it. And she just lays it over a near ace. And that is an attacking error and a set point upcoming for the Kings. Coach Fisher thinks that he's gonna, because I see it moving, but I guess it was from when the serve touched the net and the, the net was still moving. Still so moving. no touch there at all. That ball's gonna go to Miami. All right, 24-22, Miami leading. Great job by Coach Fisher. He did what he had to do. I'm here to protect my team. I'm not here to please anyone. Flor Marie will serve it away. Miami on the brink of winning the third set, enforcing a fourth. Near side, the serve over, handle. Will set things up and blocked by Miami. A point for Pittsburgh. They block it right out of bounds. I'm in trouble. Well, Olivia Babcock is there. Biggest point of the match right here for Miami. They've got to find a way to handle the serve from Rachel Fairbanks, the junior out of Tustin, California. She's on the far side. I will hit Grace Lopez on this one. She has the best blocking scene. Green handles it. Vock for Grace Lopez. Go. That is dug out. What a dig. And a point for Pittsburgh to tie it. Valeria very crafty with a soft block and also they're tooling against Grace Lopez. She knew what she was doing. She came to block down the line there. It's a good choice by Savannah back also. She hit the right player. 24-24. Fighting off two set points is Pittsburgh. Vox for Lopez. That is blocked and a point for the Canes. A second set point coming up right here. Miami playing the game correctly. They gave the ball to her. She missed. Still was the best option. Still what the best matchup. Give it to her again. Here's Milana Moisio. She has struggled today serving. She struggled, but she came with an ace uh, earlier on. Let's see if she can bring some of that mojo back for the Kings. Serve is good. Set things up. Near side. Back up. Into the net. Miami takes the third set. An attacking error ends the third set. Taming his lineup. I think this is the ideal lineup for the team. Maybe having also Abby Cassiano. As the middle. So to a fourth set we go this afternoon. And Miami out. with an attacking error. You don't want to have that. You will think that Janice has a big advantage she over Emma in, Monks. She thought it was in. Yeah. Maybe a little too early to uh, challenge a point. That's a good matchup for the Canes. Wow. Nice dig, wow. great block. Well, Janice layout. If she just gets herself just about all the way back and healthy, she is a weapon for Miami. Like I said, it's pretty scary that she's doing really good and probably 70, 75 percent at the most. I mean. Oh, nice pick up there. Oh, great play. Yeah, it was. And they scored. A lot more energy and intensity from Miami after the first set. And it's funny because they'll probably kick themselves because they probably think they should have won the second set. But even more so, where was that energy intensity, intensity in the first set, right? So. But you see, like I said, in women's volleyball, you see this a lot, how it shifts from one side to the other. Now you see that they're all competing. All Both teams are on eight cylinders right yeah. now. Nice hit off the hands there. Very smart. 
Babcock against the setter, even though Savannah's a stud player and a blocker, but she is the weakest blocker on the team, so that's where the ball should go. A little ugly oh, here. Yes. Out of bounds, but well, that's a great hit. Trying to hit deep to five from there. I've been talking about Babka, but I love Stafford. I mean, <laughs> what a great player. I'm saying if you were building a team, you'd take them? You'd take them both, yeah? For sure. <laughs> no hesitation, right? I will, I will go recruit next to Coach Fisher. <laughs> He's doing a great job there. Good block. You know what's going to be really scary? The moment that for Maria Heredia learns how to tool a little bit more against that block, which is a matter of her, obviously, she still has two to three more years to play ball. Because she has the power. So if she can get a little bit of finesse, you know, that toolbox, what is it that I can do with these balls? The moment she starts to play more mindfully, I means she has one of the heaviest arms I've seen in a very long time. Well, a fifth set is what's on the line here in the fourth. Early in the fourth set, tied at three. Been having a really good passing day. That's the thing that you don't want to do. I'll, I'll, I'll break it down to you. First of all, that's a great block on a play that everybody knows that you're going to hit. So you have four hands waiting for you. Look, you have four hands. You just cannot hit. And if you want to hit, I don't know about you, will you hit where Babcock is? No. I will avoid her, so if I'm going to hit, I need to hit crosswalk. Those are things that you know up ahead. You know, those are mental mistakes that she will get better at. An ace. Yep. Miami losing a bit of momentum now. How much does fatigue start to set in now? I don't think at their ages fatigue is an issue. No. No, it's big difference to me is the mental thing. That's a great smart hit. Well, nice dig by that's Valeria. An unbelievable job. A block from Miami and a point for the King. Valeria's a seasoned veteran who was in this Final Four last year, and she's had a great run there. She's so intense on defense. You saw her take this ball one hand. That's a great play. But look how she went to cover. So that's like, Lay, I came all the way from outside the court. I'm busting. <laughs> you know what to get here, and you guys are not moving. She had a couple of words in there, too, like, let's get it on. Wow. Great set. Woke him up. It's a great set from Fairbanks. She gets those nice passes. Look, look at her hands. How beautiful. Hands up. Showing her those hands to the to the middle so she has a good reference and just sending it there. It's like somebody hits uh, Angie on the mouth. Like she's good. Let's go play ball. Get some water in there. She ain't going out. She's a tough cookie. A great competitor. This conversation sometimes are funny because they go, how does it look? When it, obviously, I don't have trainers at the club, right. so I go, hey, it, it, it's still there, you know? Still, You're looking good. I think that's what she asked the trainer, too. <laughs> how do my teeth look? <laughs> Babcock right. serve. Every time she has serve, she has to look at the ceiling. Yeah, just part of her routine. No, this is that this is one of the lowest ceilings in the ACC. So for her, she has a high toss, and she goes like, "Let me see how high this is." But she's been doing it consistently. So to her, it has been a distraction. Interesting. It's a good serve. Valeria, is such a great passer. I think Savannah back touched the net yes, there. Yes, she did. That happens pretty fast also. Sometimes we're tough on the ref. That was a really good call, because sometimes when they do that, the ball is the one that touches the net, and you, you don't notice it, but they were, they were on it.
Oh. <laughs> she got away with that one. Great defense. A slap of the left hand. Nice play by Lopez against the big block. Cal, I'm going to put you in the spot. You have the stats closer to me. How are the stats when it comes between the freshmen? I, I, I want to see if we can track that down. You know, Lopez has 17 kills for Miami on this side. And Babcock. Babcock with 13. Stafford <laughs> with 10. So Grace Lopez, the star of the show of this uh, three-headed, vicious freshman monster here this afternoon. It's incredible. Obviously, Babcock being a more physical player, a player that, that you can see a lot of future in there, but Grace Lopez, remember when we saw the numbers before about these all fabulous freshmen? Right. The, the prices of freshmen of the week have been going a lot to Pittsburgh, but Grace's numbers are better. Ball was out. Yes, it was. Service error at that time. It's 8 to 7. Looks like it was closer than we thought, but no call there. Coach Fisher not interested in challenging. And a click of checks back in for the Panthers. The Libero, that yellow number 12 jersey. Out of Novelty, Ohio. Far side oh, and there you having Valeria Vasquez Gomez. And they're having a very good offensive match. She's not the heaviest hitter, but she's crafty. Even on the last one, she even faded back and then she hit line. Mm. I enjoyed this to watch her play. Fairbanks serving now. And there goes the fabulous freshman, the Puerto Rican Panther, Grace Lopez. Shouting on everyone, I'm as good as all of you, and that's big company. A great swing. She's putting the ACC on notice, isn't she? There's yep. a block by Miami. Pittsburgh with a chance. Valeria Vasquez Gomez collects another point. Valeria has been on point, not making too many mistakes, keeping her team there. 10 to 8, Pittsburgh leads. For sure, it has to be in the future of the Puerto Rican national team. Coach Fernando Morales, who coaches at Evansville, pretty much watching this match. Check the future of the nation. Came down, hit the foot of Grieve, and bounce as well. Eleven to eight, Pittsburgh. It it happens. It's part of the game. One more time, I will never choose to hit where Babcock is. I I, I will hit Crossgore into the hands of the middle. No problems. I don't want to hit Babcock. It's just she's way too high on that net, and it's making it really easy for her to block. I will avoid her at all costs. And that's a choice you have. Right. Great serve at the net. They get tangled up. Nice play, the ball down. Great. Oh, okay. I thought that ball touched the four. Everybody's meeting at the net here, aren't they? Nice hit by Babcock. 12-8 Pittsburgh leads. It might be time for a timeout. Ah, oh, that was a good pancake. I thought it touched the four, but now watching it, great pancake. Coach Gondra asked the referee. Emmy Clicko. How many timeouts he had? He said two and he thought about it and said, I'm all right for now. Better get a point here. They'll get it. Well, I mean, I see them fighting. This team is really, really high on the net. That is why Pittsburgh can compete against anyone in the nation. They have what it takes, the physicality. Nice hit off the hands there. Tactically, like I said, doing the right thing. Shortest blocker is over there, even though she's a great blocker. But that's where you want to go and making the right choices. To me, it feels like Pittsburgh a little bit more assertive and dominant here in this fourth set. 
Well, let's see. Babcock obviously is waiting there on the right side. Let's let's see what what Miami offense does. See if she can actually try to get her, get her away from the plane. Yeah, they're going that way. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good. But that's that's a good miss. That's a good miss. I would like. I would love to see that more, because he's trying to hit crosser. I rather hit crosser than to hit into the line of where Babcock is. You might want to challenge. Well, I wow. didn't see that touch, but he, he probably saw it better than I did. Okay. So, also, it's important to say that he has sometimes different views than we have, so he has a clearer one. I am pretty sure he's a great ref that he saw that one. And the, the reason why I know there was a touch from the angle that he saw is that I don't see anybody uh, complaining on the Pittsburgh side. Beginning that ball under. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. Oh, what again. a job by Vasquez Gomez. Who's going to capitalize? Touch. Oh, boy. Here we go again. He will challenge that touch. That could have been a touch. Let's see. I think it was a touch scorekeeper and also let him know this is what happened. So he needs to communicate with everyone with the scoring table, with the scorer sheet. Ball was out of bounds. No touch. Uh, Final judgment. He was out and he also checked for a net fault. Letting Coach Cannon know what he saw. He's a very Checking a variety of things there, huh? I like how he handles when he's as an R1 and as an R2 as a ref. He talks to them. You know, he lets he lets them bend. Some of them don't allow you to do that, and uh, it takes everybody off. Oh, what a swing. Oh, oh, what a lucky play. My goodness. Oh my, if this turns into a Pittsburgh point, Miami is uh, going to be crushed. Wow. So I'm, I'm going to put you on the spot here. That, that is the reason why I dislike that. That ball was going to go somewhere else that they had no shot of playing it. And uh, this rule is just, to me, it's ridiculous. The moment it goes up, that ball was going to go maybe to the soccer park. And it ended up being played and won by the other team. But those are the rules right now in the NCAA. Back with you in Miami. Pittsburgh leading the fourth set 15 to 10. This is a long, exhausting match this afternoon. And out of the timeout, an ace for Pittsburgh, and they lead by six. It's a great serve. Lots of power from Babcock. Well, she has been a problem all day long. And she hates the ceiling here, imagine. <laughs> so she's a little bit stressed out over the ceiling, and she's still doing great when it comes to serving. He just cranks that ball. And now they're digging everything. They're hitting everything. Miami struggling, but they get themselves a point. The only times that I've seen Pittsburgh freshmen miss the ball is when they've been getting greedy and they've been swinging down. The moment they hit deep, they've been scoring at will. Miami needs to run, and they need to run fast. Wow. And, uh... That is unstoppable. Yeah, it's still, the unstoppable one was Babcock running out of that pipe. Watch this. She knows that play is coming. What a great timing for that ball. You could see her coming from a mile away. Like a freight train. I don't know what Coach Kennel might have an issue with here. No clue. Mm. Could be a free ball. And it is. And you're down six. Free balls are not conducive to winning, and now you're down seven. And this one is uh, starting to get put on ice here this afternoon. So put a point there as a hitter for Furbanks, the setter. Hitting it well. 
And why not? Tedder's going to hit two. Good hit by Cassiano. A little bit of a stare down there. Those stare downs, what happens is when you, you when you give them, now you got to take them. Coach Fisher saw it. Remember that in volleyball, you're supposed to celebrate while you turn to your side. You're not supposed to talk to the opposing team. What a serve. It's an ace. What the heck? Where did that come from? 18-13. Timeout, Pittsburgh. And Coach Fisher again is uh, right. Pretty sure he'll have a conversation also about that talking there in the net. I go, well, you know, they're talking on their... Good pass. Yeah. Nice up. Smack that ball. Come on. Oh. Who touched that ball? I don't think anybody did. If I was Pittsburgh, I might challenge this if this ends up in a Miami point. Yeah, I don't know if I was the only one. Seems like I'm the only one that thought there wasn't any touch there. I don't I didn't I didn't I didn't see a touch here by Pittsburgh. I, did not I see don't know touch. who touched that ball. I don't think and anybody did. Were we the only ones that saw this? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Babcock That's is just killing them. 1914. She will have a bigger night scoring than Grace Lopez due to the fact that she's been Jeez. so awesome at the service line too. She had 16 kills. Lopez has 20. But you see, you see her points more because they're more spectacular points. Yeah. And from the service line, also she has scored way more. Wow, it's a really nice job to keep it alive. Give nice another touch. go with Lopez, and twice she's been pushed aside. Here's Babcock, a block by the Canes, Angela Green. And you needed that one for confidence. 1915. Moisillo to serve for Abby Cassiano. I think the reason why she was able to get that one, sometimes she's been like skidding a lot. Since she was helping the middle, she stayed in, enough inside to get Babcock. Ooh, not a very good pass there. That area is so crafty. Nice dig. This would be a massive point for Miami. An emotional one for the Canes, but the ball was a little bit low. I think it was a little bit low there for her. 20 to 15. It's an emotional point. Sometimes I tell people that emotional points sometimes count as two. Because it makes the team on the other side feel very frustrated. A lot of great hits. For Maria Heredia, like I said, sometimes I talk about her not being the best passer. She has done a ridiculously good job today. By the time she's a senior, she'll be a great passer. Be a great player. Yes. She's got a long career in volleyball. Here's Lopez. Ooh, what a great serve. Good pass, good set, Whoa. and a kill. What a show by these freshmen, Babcock and Lopez going back and forth. Wow. Oh, she just ripped that one. Not a whole lot Flo Marie was going to do there. Got her arms extended, tried to keep it in play, couldn't do it. Uh-oh. At the net. Nice job by Savannah. What a kill. What it's a kill. A, I just love to see Grace Lopez play. She's been look, the best player of the match. Look how relaxed she is. To be honest, win or lose, obviously you came here to win the match, but she might as well go home saying, well, you know, I measure myself against the best two freshmen, and uh, I outscored them. 
She's been amazing. Great dig by Angela Greaves. They're going to go back to Babcock. No, here's a chance for Miami. Here's Lopez, and she puts oh. it away. My friend, she's as good as anyone in this league. 21-18, Greaves serving. Throw my wild out Puerto Rico. She just put. You don't any even click see on her, her back hand. Time. You no. don't even see, and all of a sudden she just flips it and it's right on your face that ball. How oh. did they keep that alive? Oh, great job by Savannah back. No nope. carry. Well, to be really honest, I mean. I think Coach Fisher has it, but Keno has had at least two to three like those, and that's that. 21-19, a little energy. It's getting a little testy, it's, but force a decisive fifth set and pull off an improbable victory this afternoon. 21-19, Greaves serving over, set. And that is out. No Attacking touch. error. 21 to 20. And uh, there's some subbing going on now for Pittsburgh. Logan Mosley, graduate out of Apex, North Carolina, is in. Valeria Vasquez Gomez will take a seat. I will serve her right now. If you're cold, I want to serve you. They do. Great opportunity. Look at Miami. Look at him. Free ball. That was a golden opportunity. Again, kept alive by the Canes. Flor Marie, an attacking error. I didn't see anything there. Those are the ones that you want to check. With this score, I will challenge it any day of the week. Yep, so no touch. It was worth it. Yeah. What did this take? Like two minutes? 22 20. That's, it's a, that's an extra time. It's a free time. So no more challenges for Coach Keno in Miami. Pittsburgh leading 22 to 20. And Tat Flood, the senior out of Wilmette, Illinois, will serve it away for the Panthers. Maybe you can lull them into a service error. Miami is right in it. Pittsburgh trying to put them away. That was off, and they got lucky Miami with that tip. Break. Savannah would like to have that one back. She's talking to her, going, "I'm so sorry. I just sent this ball there." But it is cool. I I, I like to give some wisdom to the young um, players out there. Once the ball is out of the setter's hands, it's none of her business. You need to figure that one out. You need to fix it for her. Miami catches a break. Rosado serving. Floats it over, handle, the set, Grieve keeps it alive. Vak over, Lopez hammers it up towards the rafters. In play, Babcock, can Miami keep it alive? Yes, Flor Marie sends it back over. Trouble now. Three ball, well, that's a double. We are tied at 22 apiece. Dan Fisher is losing his mind on the referee. He's going to get himself a yellow card. I have no idea why he's so upset. That is a double. Can he get thrown out of the net? Yes, he can. I don't think he will, though. No, I, I like it. I like the intensity. I'm just wondering. Saying he's terrible. Oh, he, I've been there. Like I said, I respect when coaches are doing what he's supposed to. I do believe that UM has momentum and Coach Kennel wants to play. Enough of the talking, it's a judgment call. It's okay to talk when he needs to go back. The reason why it's called a double, just to let you know, and I think it was an easy call, is because it's the third pass and it's an easy one. So on that one, they are strict. A bit of frustration, too. Rosado serving again, gets it over. Tied at 22. And that's a kill for Pittsburgh. They lead by one. In the closing moments of the fourth set, can Miami find a way to come back? Pittsburgh has the one person they want right now serving. It's Olivia Babcock, the freshman out of LA. In a timeout, 
for Coach Kennel. Probably a right decision. Make Babcock think about it a little bit. Serving for the Panthers. Can Miami force a fifth set? Babcock with four aces this afternoon. I like this timeout also to see if he's able to ice Babcock. Let's see if it works. She's got a hammer of a serve. For sure. Looks up towards the rafters. She lets it go. She steps into it, crushes it. No problem with that timeout. Grace Lopez with a kill. Tied at 23. I don't think anybody would have thought that we were going to talk nope. this match against the number six team in the nation. And the best player in the court was going to be Grace Lopez. Yep. Offensively, and she Maya has keeps been. Her. They're not making any bones about it now. They're not trying to get cute. The serve. Over to oh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Tori Stafford, the freshman. Wow. Pittsburgh will try to end it right here. Stafford will serve. That's the other superstar from that team. Wow. Cassiano held there, and she couldn't get to the outside. Set point and match point. Can Miami keep this thing alive? Yes, they can. I think Miami's sending a message to the ACC that Cannot go and fall asleep on us. On any given night, you can lose to, uh, to the Canes. Match point. There it is. An attacking error. And Pittsburgh wins it. Three sets to one. And that ball was super low. Sadly, Grace Lopez couldn't couldn't get it. And uh, Savannah back with the
सुन सुन देखे रिसव रिकॉर्डिंग स्टूडियो सिमरा